a nice looking ball out Ferran Torres down the right wing heading towards the edge of the Burnley area Cal Walker's made one of those surging runs in front of him it breaks breaks momentarily and City win the first corner of the match as Ferran Torres was about to shoot and Taylor got a foot in and City have a corner on the right hand side City just doing what they do, which is trying to wait for an error, a gap to appear. Mendy then darts into the left wing position and plays it into the path of Kevin De Bruyne. And De Bruyne is into the box now. He's crowded out by a lot of Burnley players, so he plays it to Rodri. And Rodri hits it well, but it went, what, maybe a foot, two foot beyond the right-hand post. He puts his hands to his mouth. Good opportunity, not far off. Yeah, Mendy driving forward, Sterling in the D and he's got past one defender, he's tried to get past another, his shot is good. And the parry from Peacock Farrell was decent as well. And it was a good little wriggle clear from Raheem Sterling, he looked like he was crowded out, there was two or three Burnley players round him but he still got a, a little bit of a shot away, I don't think it ever had the power. Well, Andy Madley, I've just seen the replay, Andy Madley got that absolutely right, but having seen three penalties given against City, I'm going to pause because Sterling's through on goal, wonderful counter-attack, great save by Peacock Farrell. Well, I'll stop you because suddenly City are in the clear with Cole Palmer and a great save this time with the legs by Peacock Farrell. As Mendy plays the cross in and Sterling hits it with the left foot into the corner of the net. And in some ways, it was the hardest of the chances that City have had. But Mendy crossed it hard and low from the left wing position. And Sterling, just near the penalty box, thumped it first time, left foot, into the corner of the net. And at last, Burnley nil, City won with, what, 10 minutes to half time. Mendy's in the left wing position. He's kept it in play. It looks as though it might have drifted out. Sterling then tries a bending shot. and. Peacock Farrell suddenly had to throw himself to his left-hand side. Again, I don't think it was one of those shots that you would have expected to have gone into the back of the net, but Peacock Farrell got down to it quite late, but he did save it. City on the edge of the Burnley area again. Farron Torres in the left-wing position, decides to switch it to the right-wing position. Uh, Riyad Mahrez now gathers it in and his bending cross is a good one and City again are denied by Peacock Farrell or was it the outside of the post they were close together Ferran Torres on the end of Mahrez's cross and is it the post or is it Peacock Farrell they were both close together either way it didn't go in either way City are just 1-0 up it was the post and not the goalkeeper So City come forward on the counter-attack and here's De Bruyne, super ball, what a chance for City to make it to... They do, Raheem Sterling. It was just almost like watching the replay because Torres burst clear after De Bruyne put him through. He squared it to Sterling and Burnley had two or three players on the line trying to stop Sterling. Sterling just took his time, well he could have picked his spot wherever he wanted to and it is 2-0 to City. Basically in the comfort zone and Burnley have lost it and away comes Kevin De Bruyne, he's got options right and left, Cole Palmer right across the face of the goal, I thought he was going to shoot, Torres off the line. Which I'm sure you will not be surprised at and you can catch all of those on the City website uh, to hear Nicholas Otamendi's thoughts on what uh, his time at City meant and meanwhile at the other end it must be three it is it's a debut goal well, not a debut goal but a goal for Ferran Torres his first ever goal as a City player City suddenly once again breaking Burnley down in a dangerous part of the pitch and all of a sudden 
what, two passes later in the clear after a little sort of flick on from Sterling. Torres makes it 3-0. Oh, brilliant counter-attack, wonderful ball, Sterling, good save again by Peacock Farrell. Sterling looking for a hat-trick, of course, and Peacock Farrell is the reason that he's not got it, and actually, he denied him a couple of times in the first half as well. The final whistle has just gone. Two for Raheem Sterling, one for Ferran Torres. City could and perhaps should have had several more but uh, Bailey Peacock Farrell made some terrific saves tonight, the backup Burnley goalkeeper. City into that fifth round draw. The fifth round will be completed tomorrow night, and uh, the fifth round will then not be played until the week of Christmas, December the 22nd, as the Carabao Cup takes a breather.